So this is the Instant Pot Duo Plus. And in this video, I wanna show you how it works, but also some of the neat features as well as a little demonstration because there are a few things that people often make mistakes as they use this device. And I wanna make sure that you don't make these if you do end up getting this Instant Pot. One thing I do really love about it is it cuts down cooking time. That's primarily why I got it. I'm actually gonna be making bone broth in a minute, which if you don't know, takes almost days to get a good sort of gelatinous bone broth. I could do that in hours with this Instant Pot. What I really like about this is it comes with multiple presets, over 20, I believe, presets. So it has a pressure cooking function, a soup and broth function, as well as cake. Believe me, I've never done that one. You can do eggs in here instead of doing hard boiled eggs on the stove, you can do it in here. And it has a rice function, which I've actually done the rice and it turns out really, really fluffy. I love it. So this is really nice. I think it takes 13 minutes to cook rice in here. And the other thing is when you get this Instant Pot, it gives you an app with a bunch of preset recipes. So you don't need to kind of figure it out on your own. It kind of gives you a heads up with, with that extra, extra thing. And you can also do porridge and oatmeal as well as a sterilized function to self clean it, yogurt, which I haven't done as well. And you can do sous vide, which is extremely Great. It makes meat really, really tender. You can cook roasts in this. And if you kind of want that sort of long, slow cooking, fall off the bone sort of flavor with your meat, this can do it way faster. You don't have to start it early in the morning and have a cook all day to just get that, that that sort of flavor you're going for. You can do that in a few hours. So in a minute, I want to show you how I'm going to make bone broth with this and the mistakes you don't want to make if you're going to use this device. So for the demonstration, I'm gonna show you how to make bone broth really, really quickly, but this goes for any sort of pressure cooking scenario. So firstly, you're gonna to wanna to plug it in because you know power is great. And then you're gonna to wanna to unlock this lid. It lifts off like so. And then for sake of demonstration, I already have the bones in here, but I want you to pay attention to one close thing. On the side over yonder, you can kind of see these two, this horizontal line where it says max, and you do not, I repeat, you do not want to fill water above this line. Otherwise, when you depressurize it, which is with this little device right here, it'll spew nice bits of very hot, very burny, very, very uh, painful water into the ethos and potentially give you uh, a new face uh, in which you will probably not like that existence. So I'm gonna fill the water in here and we may actually need more water. There might not be enough in this, but luckily through the magic of editing, I can do that in a jiffy, but you do not want to fill it above that line. So these are the first two steps, regardless of what you're going to do in this Instant Pot. And huzzah, with the magic of editing, we are now at full capacity. Remember, never fill above that line. And you'll see you have one of these. So uh, there's a device in here that actually allows you to lift out your roast if you have something in there like that, which is pretty cool as well. So now for the cooking process, the thing you've all been waiting for. So firstly, what you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to lock this so that it can pressurize. Very simple, you put the top on and you twist. That was satisfying. Now we come down to the controls down here and you have a lot of decisions to make. I'm gonna be pressure cooking, which is probably mostly what you guys are gonna be doing as well. So you're gonna to wanna to pressure cook and then up here you see a timer. Now I'm gonna be doing this for about three hours. So I'm gonna hold it down now. You can cook a lot of different things. This is a six quart pressure cooker. There's a three quart as well as an eight quart. So different sizes depending on your needs. For a family of four that uses this one, we found that it works pretty well. It can fit a two, three pound roast in here. And that's about all you need. And I can cook that in about an hour and a half and it falls right off the bone. Three hours and one minute, why not? We're gonna be a little quirky. So you have this keep warm feature down here, which is really nice. If this finishes in three hours, but I'm not home, and when I get here, I don't want my food to be cold, right? So you can leave it on keep warm and it will keep your food warm for you until you want to enjoy it. Or maybe you're not hungry, you can keep it on keep warm. I, however, do not care to have it on keep warm. I'm gonna be cooling this anyways. So I'm gonna turn that off, you just click it. And then all you gotta do is click start. Now there's also a delay start, which will set a separate timer. But as you can see here, we have this pressurizing timer that's going on and then once it's pressurized this time these four bars right here will start going and that is the three hours for our cooking demonstration and then you see these three bars at the end that's when this needs to depressurize now this little silver knob right here will come up 
when it is depressurized. So just know that when this is down, it is pressurized and you don't really wanna mess with this button right here. It's gonna spew steam out of there. So let's see what it looks like when this is all said and done. So it has been three hours and it has ended. You can tell that this has depressurized because the silver dial is released. So now all you have to do is unlock the Instant Pot and there you go. So hopefully you found this video helpful.